Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. For today, we're gonna to be doing an Atlas neck brace review and unboxing. I'm gonna be comparing the new Atlas to the old Atlas. I think there is quite a bit of a difference between the two. After that, I have one more unboxing to do and that is my helmet. Really excited on that one. Again, they are doing some construction across the street, so I do apologize if that gets into any of the audio. Hopefully it doesn't, but if it does, I do apologize. All right, let's get into it. Got the Atlas neck brace in here. I'm gonna go grab my other one real quick just to have them laid side by side to see if there's any actual structural differences between the two. All right, got my old one here. Put that to the side. Grab my knife, open this up. And of course, another box in a box. All right, so this is all that comes in the box. You got the neck brace itself, some shoulder pads right here. These do look a little bit thicker than the ones here, so you can swap them out just in case if your shoulders sit a little lower. You got the chesty strap right here, and then you got a little instruction manual that I'll open up real quick. Came with a bunch of stickers. All right, so first thing out of that box that I noticed is it comes with a size guide, so that way you can measure your chest to make sure you fit this the proper way. Here are the different sizes that you can get, which is from the smallest to the largest. You got Brol, Tyke, Prodigy, Small, Medium, and Large. I did get a large just because it's a little bit more comfortable for me to wear a little bit of a larger neck brace. So I'll put that to the side. These pads, my shoulders sit kind of lower, so I'm probably gonna put these pads in real quick. All right, I never run this chest strap, so I'm just gonna keep that over there, and I'm gonna make sure that I put these in a safe spot just in case if these are a little bit uncomfortable so I can swap them out. Let me pull out my old neck brace and we'll compare them side by side. I apologize if it's a little dirty. One thing that I noticed the difference is the shape's completely different, and this neck brace actually came with a bag, which this one didn't, that kind of sucks, because I really wish it came in its own bag, so that way I can store it nice and neatly. Like I said, the shape is completely different. These pads do look a little bit thicker than these, even though these ones are the bigger ones, and the emergency release button is different. So on this one, you got an emergency release button that you'll just push right here on the front, and the whole thing pops out. It's nice and easy. You can see where it's at. This one looks like it's located underneath your collar here, and you'll do the same thing, and it just pops out. Just like that. It doesn't have that much room to bend, I guess, without it feeling too uncomfortable to start bending it. However, this one, you can just completely do whatever you want. I feel like if you actually got into an accident and somebody needed to take one of these off, this one would just come off of your body a lot easier than this one would. This is not how the original one looked. There was some stickers printed on here, which gave it that really nice look. There was some back here as well. However, this one does not have stickers. These are actually printed into the plastic itself. So these will either fade away, but they will never peel away. Before I start riding this and I lose these, I'm gonna pop these little clips out because these are for the chest strap which I don't use, but I'm gonna keep it with the chest strap just in case if I do wanna wear it. I just don't like riding with them because if you crash and they fall off, they're kinda lost forever. So this neck brace does feel really, really light. It feels like it's made out of really good quality. And what I like about the Atlas neck braces, it's got this little elastomeric strap right here, which gives it that little bit of wiggle room when you flex your shoulders and kinda move your head around. I really like that. This one did not lose its properties either. This one is a little bit more flexible. This one is a lot tighter. It does feel a lot better. Let me go grab my goggles that I was talking about in my other video. All right, here's my goggles. I did get the all new Armega goggles by 100%. Open this up real quick. Here are the goggles. The colors are pretty similar. This one's a little bit lighter than this one, but they do look really, really cool. One thing I'd like to talk to you really quickly about the Armegas is the new lens system. There's a little clip right here, and there's a little clip right here. To take the lens out, you'll pop these clips out, just like that. Pull these little tabs out of the way, just like that. And then you'll be able to just peel your lens off of your goggles. These lens are really cool because they're about three times thicker 
and they're already preformed to the goggles, so you can see that nice bend in them. If you've been riding for a long time, you'll definitely start to get double vision and it's really uncomfortable. These lens are designed to prevent that since they're already pre-shaped and pre-molded to your goggle. To reinstall your lens, you're gonna snap the front piece up, snap the bottom piece down, and then these clips, all you're gonna do is you're gonna tuck them down in and push them onto the goggle, and it'll lock your lens in place. Those are the Armega goggles from 100%. Back to the neck brace. They didn't come with a goggle bag like I mentioned, but I will be keeping this in my old neck brace bag. If it fits, this is a lot larger. So unfortunately it does not fit and the bag was getting old and it tore through so that's really unfortunate but luckily for that rider that I will be giving this old neck brace to he will have a somewhat decent way to store it and a decent neck brace with it. I'm going to put these goggles up real quick. As far as the 100% goggles go, these goggles fit perfectly in this case so I believe this case was definitely specifically designed for our mega goggles and what I didn't notice before that I just noticed now is that there are little pockets right here that you can add extra lenses in for these dividers which I think is really neat that they did that all right so unfortunately that neck brace didn't fit me I'm kind of upset about it but I'm gonna get it exchanged for something different that will fit me I apologize that the goggle video got kind of ruined it didn't go through I did order another pair of Armegas, so I will be doing an unboxing for those. You guys will definitely be joining me for that. They're really cool. They're gonna match my helmet a little bit better, and I have an extra slot in that goggle bag for them. Next video is gonna be the helmet unboxing. Super stoked on that. Again, I'm gonna be linking Brian's information down below, so be sure to check that out, and he really appreciated it as well. Hey guys, it's later in the day, and I did take some time to read through the instructions and see if I can adjust the neck brace at all and I was kind of successful and I think I might stick around with it. I'm not gonna be returning it. After my previous video, I looked at Motorsport. I tried to see what their return policy was and how all that stuff works, but with COVID-19 around, it is kind of difficult and it does take a lot of time for me to be able to exchange it. So instead of returning it, I read through the instructions, see if there was any way to adjust it, and I was somewhat successful successful enough to be comfortable wearing it while I'm riding. With help from the chest protector that I purchased, it does make it a little bit more snug to my body and I do feel a lot safer wearing it that way than when I wore it just on my body without any chest protector. So I'm gonna grab my chest protector and I'm gonna grab the neck brace and I'm gonna show you exactly what my setup was and how I was able to make it fit to my body a lot more better and a lot more snug. All right, so real quick, this is the chest protector that I'm using. It's the Thor Sentinel. It's not designed for this neck brace, but I have figured out a way to make it somewhat work for me. So I'll be using this and my neck brace. I ended up using my old helmet bag to put the neck brace in since it didn't come with its own bag, which I'm really upset about. But there's a lot of room in here and it's safe and it's secure. So I'm just using my old helmet bag. Here's the actual neck brace itself. Here are those pads that it came with. I did swap them back with the thicker pads because they add an extra eight millimeters of rise on your shoulders. And this goofy strap thing that I made fun of earlier. I did figure that if I do use this, it does make it a little bit more comfortable to wear it. So I'm gonna put this on and I'm gonna attach the neck brace to it. Snugs it down to my shoulders and it doesn't bounce around as much. To put it on, you feed it over your shoulders and then you spread these two straps apart and you slide it over your head. Next step, I put on my chest protector. And final step, I'll put on my neck brace. Now, these little flippers that sit on your back, you can take them off and shift them forward and back and it adds a little bit of room. I pushed them a little bit forward to make it a little bit tighter in the front. So when you wear it, now it sits right on top of my chest protector. I'm gonna reach through my chest protector here and pull out this one strap and I'm gonna guide it towards the outside of my chest protector and snap it to the neck brace. That's this side. I'm gonna do the same thing for this side. Pull it up, feed it through, and snap it down. My chest protector does have the flippers on the back of it, and it does have these front pads on the front of it too. I like to tuck these front ones in, just like this. 
and I leave my back ones kind of pushed back. This allows me to have that extra room in the front and it still limits my head from twisting back too much. This does feel a lot more comfortable for me, so I'm gonna keep it like this. And I'm actually kind of excited that this neck brace did end up working for me, even though it was too big. But for a chest protector that's not designed for this neck brace, it does fit pretty snug. I'm gonna grab my old helmet real quick, put it on and see how it feels with the helmet on. So with the helmet on, it feels just like any other neck brace. It does give you that little bit of protection when you smack your head on both sides, forward and back. It feels normal. It feels like my old one except a little bit bigger. Helmet's getting a little tight. That's why I ordered a new one. When you take it off, you're gonna grab these little straps, pull them out, slide this front piece out, unbuckle it, pull it off, and you're done. So I'm pretty happy because the goggles that I did order will match this and I don't actually have to get a new neck brace. Super stoked on it. Just goes to show how much a little bit of time and effort goes into making everything work. Appreciate you guys watching. Like, subscribe, comment. Have a good one.